creating a draft order to your store now it's time for you to make decisions on how are you going to accept payments on those draft order hey guys happiness here welcome back to my channel the best channel for you to learn about all different shopify tutorial um small businesses tips as well as entrepreneurship in general and in today's tutorial i am going to be showing you guys how to accept payments on your draft orders so if you have missed my previous video i will link it up somewhere up here or here and on that tutorial i showed you guys how to create a draft orders so if you have missed that tutorial make sure to go and check that out so you can know how to create a draft order creating a draft order has so many reasons behind it so i really don't know what is your reason but go and check it out so before I jump into this tutorial, please don't forget to give me a big, big thumbs up, subscribe on my channel for more tutorials like this, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about today's tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump into this tutorial. So here we are on our Shopify store and to go ahead and start accepting your payment for a draft order, you're going to have to go here on the orders on your left hand side and click orders and you can see there are all orders so if you have orders draft and abandoned checkout you can all find them here on the orders so to go ahead and start accepting payments for the draft order we'll go ahead and click draft here on the previous video i showed you guys how you can go ahead and create a draft order so if you want to learn how to create a draft order i will link the video up on this screen so go ahead and check it out and learn how to create a draft order and then click your draft order to open it up and here we are on our draft order and this is our draft order and as you can see, we have all the information here, the product that we created a draft order and the customer's information. So you can accept payments for your draft order by emailing your customers an invoice or by selecting a payment method. So you can send an invoice from here or you can collect a payment with other different methods. So if you want to send your customers an invoice, click here where it says send an invoice. So this is the invoice page and the invoice page provides your customer with a link to a checkout for your current order. So basically this invoice will say um, this came from you and it is gonna go to your customer and you can send it to your customer. So when you send it to your customer, it will have a link and your customer will be able to click that link and it will take them straight on this checkout page. And basically they can go ahead and fill out the information, like their shipping information, and put their payment method. If they want to pay with Shop Pay, Apple Pay, Piper, Facebook Pay, or any other form of payment method, they can go ahead and do it here. Okay, so after your customer completed the checkout process using the link that they got from the email, the draft order will become an order and it will automatically marked as paid. So make sure that you have added all the products to the order before you send your customer the invoice because if you add the product to an order, after you send an email with an invoice attachment, the shipping rate won't be updated to your cost. So basically the cost of shipping, it won't be updated. This cost won't be updated to the new product that you added. So pretty much you will spend more money uh, on the shipping. Make sure you add everything before you send an invoice to your customer. So let me go ahead and show you how you can do that. So click send invoice. This will be the email that is going to go to your customer and this will be from you. And on your invoice, you can go ahead and write a message if you want to. So let's say, for example, I am going ahead and type thank you for supporting. Oops. Thank you for supporting my business. Okay, so this will be the message that I am going to 
send to my customer. So when you're done, you can go ahead and click review invoice. And then the next page will come up where you will have a selection to click, click send notification. And then that email will go to your customer and your customer will get an invoice with the link. And then that link will take them on this page and they can go ahead and pay, okay? So let's say if you don't want to email your customer an invoice, then go ahead and select collect payment right over here. So click that and you can enter a credit card. So let's go ahead and click enter credit card. And on here you have an option to either click enter credit card and you can put the credit card information of your customer and another option is to click mark as paid so when you click mark the order as paid no payment is going to be collected for the order and an order confirmation email is sent to the customer so do not mark as paid if you have sent your customer an invoice and you want them to pay through a checkout okay um because the checkout link and the invoice won't work and the customer can be able to complete the checkout process so make sure you don't select the option mark as paid if you did send an invoice already to the customer and to finish marking the order as paid click create order then the draft order becomes an order that you can view from your orders page so basically, I can't show you how it's going to look like after this because this is not an active so yet. So, But if you select all the options that I showed you, your order will appear right over here. Okay. Another option is to click payment due later. And this is if you're waiting for payment on the order. So when you select payment due later, you have an ability to pick when will this payment be due? Will it be within seven days, 15 days, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, or fixed date? So on the fixed date, you can go ahead here and make up the date that you want this to be due. So on the option that I showed you earlier about enter credit card, uh, basically here, you're going to enter the credit card detail manually. Um, and you have to note that the credit card information that you're going to do is not going to be saved in Shopify. So this payment method require a direct payment provider, like let's say like Shopify's payment after you click pay with credit card or here like enter credit card. So the next page will come up and you will have to enter your customer's billing information. So after that, you can go ahead and charge your customers by click charge. On the next page that will be showing up after you select this enter credit card but if you're using Shopify payments then you don't pay any transaction fee other than the regular card rate when you're processing your credit cards payments manually in your Shopify admin page um, so if you are using a direct credit card payments provider then you pay the same transaction fees when processing a credit card purchases um, that you pay for an online order so after you accept payment for this draft order or mark it as paid from here, so this draft order will become an order on the on the orders page right over here where I showed you before. So once you're done doing what I showed you, you can go ahead here and click um, orders and your order will be right over here. But for now, I really can't show you how it's gonna look like after I added the card information, after I received the payment, because this is a free trial, I'm still working on the store and I'm still using the free trial days. It's not, a, it's not a live store yet. That's why I can't show you guys here. But pretty much that is the process that you can go ahead and do it in order for you to receive payment for your draft orders. So if you follow all this instruction I showed you, um, everything will be great. So yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked today's tutorial. If you do, please don't forget to give me a big, big thumbs up. Subscribe on my channel for more tutorial like this. And thank you very much. I will see you on the next video.